Hello, this is Presh Talakar, and this is the third video in the series of how to solve the Rubik's Cube. I'm going to explain how to solve the first layer of the cube. Alright, let's get started solving the cube. The pieces are thoroughly mixed up, and now the first step in the layer method is to create the white cross. So we're going to look for the four edge pieces which have white on one side and another color on another. It happens that one of those edge pieces is already next to the white center. So here we have a green and white edge piece. And to put that in position, we simply rotate the top face until we get the green to match the green center. So we've completed one of the four that are necessary for the white cross. So now we need to identify the remaining three pieces. So here's another piece, which is white and red. We can identify the white and blue piece. And finally, here we have a white and orange piece. So we'll deal with this case first, it's the easiest. So let's say you're looking at orange and white is at the bottom. So you're looking at one color and at the bottom is white. So in order to get this to the right position, you rotate it around until your edge piece matches the center. Then you rotate the face you're looking at two times. And that will bring the edge piece in its proper position. And most importantly, we have not messed up the green edge piece that we had solved before. So now we're going to put the remaining edge pieces in position. Here we have blue and white, and we've moved that to the blue face. So this is like the previous case, except the two colors are flipped. So we're going to need to do something different to get this piece in position. So in this case, we do the move down, right, front prime, F prime, and then R prime. And now you'll see that the blue edge piece has been put in position and we haven't messed up the orange or green pieces. So there's a final case All right, so here's the final case where you have an edge piece that's along the center. It's in the middle layer. So how can you move this piece into correct position? You basically want to rotate it. And now you're basically looking at, this is the same case as the blue case. So you have the red and white edge piece that's in position where you're looking at the white face. So we again do D, R, F prime, and then R prime. So those are the four cases of how you can find the edge pieces, and this is how you put them together to be in the white cross. All right, we've completed the white cross, and now we need to complete the four corners and put them in the correct position and correct orientation. In one case, you may already see a corner that's in the correct position with the correct orientation. In that case, you're lucky and you don't need to do anything. There's another case where the corner is in the right position, but it's in the wrong orientation. And finally, if a corner is not already on the top layer, then it has to be on the bottom layer because the corners can only go in certain positions. So we're going to show how you can get all of these 
cor uh, edge corner pieces in the right spot with the right orientation. So here we need to change the orientation of this corner. And you can see it clearly changes when you rotate one of the sides. So here's one way that you can get the corner to have the correct orientation. The corner is in the upper right, so we're going to need to move the right side. So we're going to go R prime, D prime, R, and now we have the corner that's along the bottom. And we see that one of the faces is white that we're looking at. So if we rotate it, we find that we'll be able to match the orange face of this corner. And we want to move it to the top. So when you have a case where your corner has white on one side and is matching the other side, you can go R prime, D prime, R. And that'll bring the corner up. So that's what happens when you have the corner on the bottom right, you need to move it to the top right. Here's another corner, we see a white face and we have a blue face. So we're going to rotate it around and now we're matching the blue edge, the blue face to the blue center. And we wanna move the corner from the bottom left to the upper left. So we do that with L, D, and L prime. So we move this corner into position and we haven't messed up any of the other corners. So now we just have one more corner that we need to put into place and I'm just going to move the cube around a little bit because I want to orient the corner in a certain way. So it might be the case that the corner you're looking at has white at the bottom. So in the previous two cases, white was on one of the sides. Now we cannot match any of the sides to the center. We have green and red. We can't match it because white is at the bottom. So in order to do this, we're going to have to change the orientation of that corner. So when the corner is in the bottom right, we go R prime, D prime two times, and then R. And now the corner will have changed its orientation because we can see the white face, and now we can match the other color to one of the sides. So since the corner is in the bottom right, we go R prime, D prime, and R. So now we've solved the entire top layer. I hope you liked this video. Please click through to watch the next video on how to solve the middle layer of the cube. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can support me on Patreon. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Tallwalker, and you can get my books listed on my website, 